Okay, hello everyone. All right, so in this video, let's talk about where you should not put um, a semicolon when you're dealing with if statement. All right, so let's create an example of an if statement. First of all, let's declare two variables, number one and number two. So let's make them integers um, or basically ints. All right, so int number one is going to be equal to two, and then int number two is going to be equal to four. Now we know that if they're of the same data type, we don't have to declare them separately. Although we can do this, we can also put them in one line. So let's just do that because I haven't done that in a while. So int number one, right, we can say int number one is equal to two, comma, number two is equal to, let's say, seven, right? Because both these, var both these variables are all the same int type, so it's going to work, right? Compile this, and we see it's, it's working well. All right, so let's create an if statement. This is our structure. So let's say if number one is less than number two, right? Then let's display a message and say that. Let's use the variables themselves to refer to the values, the values of the variables. So we say number one, let's concatenate it with a string, is less than, concatenate it to the value of number two. All right, so we have a working if statement. So let's run this, compile and run it. Two is less than seven. All right. So you may be tempted to terminate your the if your if statement header and this is your if statement header okay where you have the if clause and you have the two parentheses where your conditional conditional um, your boolean expression goes okay you may be you may be tempted to terminate it here right you may be tempted to do that some people all right let me just remove that some people write your code or they they organize their code this way they have the curly braces here right which is fine but the thing is you may be tempted to terminate it here right if you do this it's it's bad right <laughs> because um it, your if statement is not going to work properly let's just take it back to how i uh, i basically have my, my create my curly braces so if you terminate your if statement header right this is what's going to happen it's going to evaluate this if number one is less than number two it's going to determine if this boolean expression results to true or false and then it's going to, because of the, semi, the semicolon, it's going to terminate, it's going to stop, and it's going to run what's called a null, a null statement. And a null statement is basically a statement that, you know, a statement that does nothing, right? You can basically, basically all it's going to do is it's going to stop there. It's first of all going to determine if this is true or false, and it's going to stop there because, you know, you, you've terminated it. And so this part of the code here, is not going to be de dependent on this if statement header anymore. It's these two things are separate. They are like two lines of code. They look basically something like this. They're like you separated them if you terminate it, right? So this statement is not going to run. Okay, this statement is not going to run based on whether this is true or false. Because it's these two are, are separate, this is always going to run. First of all, this is going to do its thing. Then it's done because you've terminated it. You're done with it. And then the code is the compiler is going to continue running your code, and it's going to run this. It's, so this statement is not part of this anymore because you've, you've stopped it over here. But what happens over here is if number one is less than two, it's going to basically determine if this is true or false. And, and that's it. It's going to terminate and run what's called a null statement. And a null statement is basically a statement that, 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 that <laughs> I'm sorry. It's basically a statement that does nothing, right? You don't see any line, you don't see any code, so it's, it does nothing, All right? This is no longer part of it. This is no longer dependent. The if statement is not complete, right, without um, without this. Oh, I'm, I'll basically start, yeah, it's, it's just something like that. This if statement is not complete without this. So you don't stop it here, or rather you stop it right here, because these are, this is all part of the if statement. This is the condition, and based on whether this is true or false is when the code or the lines of code, uh, the, the lines of the line or lines of code in the block and the curly braces are going to execute. Right, so you don't you don't terminate this. 
but it's you know it's very easy to do because you know we terminate our, our lines of code um, so it's very easy to ju just be careful you don't terminate your headers your if statement headers you don't terminate it this way so guess what we said if number one is less than number two then print this message right so when we didn't terminate it, it it determined if this is true or false and then based on whether this is true true or false which, which we know is true this statement is you know was executed so when i compile this and i run we, we know it works but when i terminate this you may think your, pro your program is still working right because fine two is less than seven but what if i change this to seven and two now we're asking is num if number one is less than number two we know number one is seven and the number two is two, right? Seven is not less than two, so this should result to false and this statement shouldn't run, right? But because you've terminated this, right? Number one less than number two is going to, t is going to result to false. We would expect that this statement wouldn't run because this resulted to false, but we've terminated this. This is not, no longer dependent on this part of the code. You've terminated it. So it's going to determine if it's true or false, which you know is false. Then it's going to do nothing. It's going to run or execute a null statement, which is a statement that does nothing that, uh, nothing that we don't see. And then the, the code is going to continue running this regardless. So when you are expecting the, this code not to run or not to display, it's still going to be, be displayed, right? Because you've terminated it over here and you've separated these two parts that are supposed to be together, right? Seven is, is seven less than two is false, so this shouldn't run. But because you've separated them, this is going to run because they are, they are no longer you know together. Compile this, run it, and we can see you know seven is less than two. It doesn't even read right, right? Seven is not less than two. So that's if you know that that's a thing you should you know really look out for. Don't terminate your headers, right? Terminate you know terminate your statements. Because your your if statement is not complete without your conditionally executed statement. Okay, I hope you I hope you get this. Compile this, run this. Now see this is not working because you, when you remove this uh, semicolon now, this state this statement is now part of the if statement. This statement is now runs based on whether this is true, based on whether the the boolean expression here is true or false. Okay, so that's what you want, right? So I hope you understand this, and this is something that's, that that you know gets you know a lot a lot of people. And it's very easy to do too. So just watch out for that. All right. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then. Bye bye.